Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of October 24th to the 30th of 2022. Hope you're all doing well this week. And at this time I would also like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up as well as a very special thank you to those of you who have subscribed. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated as well as those who have left comments. Thank you again. All right, Aquarius, on that note, we will see what this week has in store for you. And your first card out is the tower. So realizing the situation that you're in, whether that's a work or a home life or a job for some of you is you're realizing that it's not on solid structure. Maybe you've heard rumors or realized something for yourself. And, you know, you're, this is your wake-up call. This is sort of like that sudden flash of insight. And you realize where you're standing, what's coming at you, what you're expecting. So you're also going to try to solve this problem for yourself so that you don't get into financial trouble. And the nine of wands. All right. So defending yourself, you know, feeling like you've brought a lot to the table and, you know, you've gone through a lot this far, for sure, especially with the tower there. You've come to some sort of realization this week of what you got to do going forward for yourself. There's no question that you already know what to do. You know, you've been ready for this for a while. You've just been avoiding it or ignoring it. But, you know, time's up sort of thing. And and you're going to do what you need to do to clean house and get yourself moving in the right direction for yourself this week. And the Ace of Pentacles. So, beginning, new beginning, you know, lucky card. Maybe you're getting a new job offer, some better tangible results out of it. You know, more material gains, that sort of thing. At a better place, at a better raise for some of you. And the Two of Swords, so you're undecided. You know, you're just sort of sitting there waiting for the other shoe to fall, you know. You know, you're refusing to make that choice for yourself. And, you know, you're just waiting, trying not to make any sudden moves so you don't make the wrong move for yourself. But you know you're going to have to take the blindfold off and do it. And the Ace of Wands. So new beginning, new foundation. You know, things are starting to blossom and bloom and go in the right direction for you. For some of you, you know, this is a, a new career that you actually always wanted. And, you know, there it is. It just sort of appears for you. You got the opportunity to work at what you love to do instead of, you know, the nine to five job of life. And the three of cups. So you're celebrating for sure. Good times, get togethers, invitations. This could be from, you know, Celebrating your new job that you always wanted to, you know, a birth of a child, that sort of thing in the family. Um, somebody graduating, you know, getting some sort of award for something. You know, a milestone in some part of your life that you're doing a celebration. But when you go to that party, it's going to be like the party was given for you. You're on such a high note of happiness, you know, with all the good things that starting to come into your life, though it started like, you know, it wasn't going to turn around for you, but it has turned around a lot. And the Ten of Cups, so there it is for sure. It has definitely turned in your favor going forward. You know, you're starting to realize that, you know, all the things that you wanted in your life are right there. You're getting along really well with your neighbors. You're getting along with your other half, siblings, family. 
you know, there's no stopping you at what's coming at you for good. And you're quite content and happy with it all. And you should be because it doesn't come around every day. You know, it's always nice to have that, you know, development, you know, your significant others are happy with you. You're getting along. You're in really good relationships, friendships, just like everything's coming up roses for you and you're quite content, you know, and if this is new beginnings of an affair, a love affair, you know, for some of you, this is a new person coming into your life. It may be the one that lasts for a very long time. And the six of rods. So you've had to, you know, shine your own light, you know, let people realize the different struggles that you've had in your life, what you've sacrificed, what you've given, that sort of thing. You're letting people realize that you have a lot to offer and of, of value. So though they already know that, but every once in a while you need to remind them just because it's nice to get appreciated. And the page of wands. So a message coming in of some sort. It's usually a long distance call, that sort of thing call to either go for travel somewhere it could be for work as well for some of you otherwise it could be just you taking a trip to see somebody you haven't seen in a very long time you know you're reaching out you're having a good time this could be somebody that you haven't heard from for a while and you actually pick up the phone and talk to them and it makes you feel you know all good in the inside and the ten of rods for some of you, this could be in a job. Maybe you've got a higher position and now starting to realize all that they want from you in this position. And you're realizing that, you know, when you're at home and you're tossing and turning and wondering, did I get everything done at the office? That sort of thing. So you're starting to realize that, you know, this new position has given you a lot of burdens with it as well. So you're trying to figure out whom you can delegate you know, to ease this burdens and move forward for yourself. And the lovers. So you're making some sort of commitment for yourself. For some of you, it's to yourself to complete something that you've always wanted to complete. Um, for others of you, this could be in your career or your profession, you know, that you chose. Something that speaks to your heart. You're very happy and content. You know, this could also be in a relationship as well for some of you. Maybe you're deciding that it's time you move in together or it's time that you get engaged, you know, or let the rest of the world know that this is my other half. And the seven of pentacles. So you put a lot of effort and work and willing to you know, keep going at the pace that you're going to complete something you want to complete. It's, uh, you know, like that old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it does take time and effort. And for others of you, perhaps maybe you've put some, uh, squirreled some money away, that sort of thing, and, and uh, didn't want to tell anybody, and you're just sort of waiting to, for it to turn into more, and then You'll let other people know that way you can go forward in a different direction for yourself. And the Ten of Swords. So something in your life has come to 100% completion. It's dead, done, and over with. Now, whether this was in a relationship or a friendship, a job, somebody's betrayed you. They've stabbed you in the back and you realize it now and... You're just going to be 100% finished with them. There's no forgiving here. There's no writing what they've done wrong. And you're just going to let go of it and them and move forward for yourself. And the Ace of Swords. So no beginning. You know, perhaps some of you were feeling a little bit stumped for a while. You weren't quite wanting to move in any direction but now you know you have purpose and you're inspired to go in a different way something that 
you know, it's time to have a heart to heart for some of you with somebody who's perhaps did you wrong and you're going to clear the air and then move forward for yourself and just leave them in the waste. And the hair font. So you're talking to somebody, a good friend, relative, teacher, therapist, your other half, you know, somebody that has a lot of wisdom, you know, somebody that you respect, you know, they've gone through a lot and you've seen it and you're just, you know, using them as a bouncing board and you know, they won't judge you. They'll listen. They respect you. You respect them. You're on the same even keel. And for some of you, this could be you going back to school. Perhaps you got a scholarship and, you know, you're heading off in the direction of a study that you've always wanted to do, you know, a favorite course that you've always liked. You're learning to trust yourself more this week with your decisions in your life and not relying so much on others. And the Eight of Swords. So there you are. Feeling like you're held back, not appreciated. You know, you put a lot of effort into things. You know, you felt locked up for a long time, being held back. You know, it's better to accept your fears sometimes and go ahead and do it anyways because it needs to happen. You know, it's like that saying, if you never miss, you are aiming too low. And that's a very true statement sometimes for some of us. You know, we're just settling rather than trying to make things better. But this week, I think you've had enough of doing that. All right, I'm shuffling and going to deal you an angel oracle card. And see what kind of clarity we can get here for you. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or a pedicure. So taking care of yourself is very good for you and everybody around you. All right, Aquarius. On that note, I will say goodbye for now, and I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.